Now we talk about the movements across the cell membrane. This is very important, actually one of the most important features of the cell membrane that it is semi-permeable. It allows certain molecules to pass, it does not allow other molecules to pass and also this actually uh, very technically separate the internal and external environments. There are certain molecules which are lipid like as we know from the structure that uh, the cell membrane overall. So, if a molecule is like a lipid for example, there is a fat type hormone, it can directly pass through the cell membrane and come inside uh, or it can pass out. Uh, but the other things, uh, the other uh, molecules like, uh, like proteins, like carbohydrates, they cannot pass through like ions, water they cannot pass through directly through the cell membrane because it's it's a fluid it's a lipid and uh, lipids uh, they actually uh, repel those uh, molecules so what happened that for movement of this type of molecules cell membrane have channels the ways from which these molecules can pass and these channels these ways are made up of proteins these proteins are very very specific in their structure. One type of channel usually allows only one type of molecule or ion to pass. For example, there are channels called water channels or aqua porins, aqua for water, porins pores. So these are the protein channels, channels made up of proteins present inside the, integrated inside the cell membrane which allows only water molecules to pass. There are certain uh, other channels. For example, uh, sodium ion is a very important ion present inside the cells and they're in, in their uh, extracellular environment. Sodium ion have particular channels through which it can pass. We call them sodium channels. Just like that, there are protein channels, there are calcium channels, there are potassium channels and so on. Uh, and, and these channels are not, many of these channels are not always open. There are few channels which are always open. Uh, we call them leak channels. From this, uh, from these channels, uh, ions or molecules can pass against a concentration gradient. For example, if they are more outside, they will move towards inside. If they are more inside, they will move towards outside. Uh, but there are other channels uh, which allow only a specific type of molecule to pass and they open and close as required by the cell. Certain signals come and tell these channels to open or other signal comes and tell these channels to close. So these are open and close upon the requirement of the cell. Uh, for example, uh, during nerve impulse when a message from brain is transmitted for example to the muscles our message from muscle is going to the brain uh, there are sodium channels which need to be open and uh, these are opened with the help of a stimulus that is some signal uh, when a stimulus come a signal come these channels open and allows the sodium to move in and the cell transmit a message here you can see a diagram in the diagram that you can see on your uh, screen right now, it can show you various types of channels. Few on your left are open, open protein channels. Few on the other side shows when they are close. So channels open and close. And how they open and close? They open and close by a conformational change. I hope you understand the conformational change, but I simply describe it. Conformational change is this that arrangement of molecules um, of a macromolecule or arrangement of atoms of a molecule in space is changed. This is called a conformational change. For example, if they were towards right, they move towards left uh, uh, with the result channel open or close. 